Hello everyone, I'm Svetlin Nakov from Softuning Global and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In today's episode, I will be talking about one of the most important things in software development, uh, which software engineers are using on a daily basis. This is the source control systems such as Kit, SVN and others. Source control systems keep the project source code in a shared repository in the internet so that every team member can access the code and make changes in cooperation with the other developers. I'll talk about Kit and GitHub, how they work, what benefits they provide and why every programmer must know how to use Git and GitHub. I'll show you some of the basic Git com commands in the command terminal and later I'll provide a simple demo. How to clone a GitHub repository, how to modify local files, how to add files to the repo, how to commit the changes and how to push the change set to GitHub. If you like my video lessons and tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm posting video lessons regularly, so if you want to become a worldwide top programmer, just follow them and keep coding. Now let's begin with Git and GitHub. Source control systems are critical for the software development process and coding in a team. Virtually all major companies and software development teams use source control systems. There are no exceptions. If you are a developer, you should know how to work with source control systems like Git and SVN. Source control or version control uh, is a concept of software engineering used every day by millions of developers. Source control systems keep the source code and other project's assets in a shared repository available through the internet uh, or in a local environment. Developers can clone a repository, pull uh, the latest version of the code, commit and push local changes, and merge the conflicting changes and collaborate with other developers. They can also view the change logs, project history, compare different versions of the same file and restore previous versions, branch the source code into separate line of development and many others. Git is the most popular source control system in modern software development. It is a distributed source control system, a very powerful tool for version control and team collaboration at the source code level. Git is the system behind GitHub, the largest software project hosting portal in the world. Other popular version control systems are TFS, SVN, Performs, Perforce and others. GitHub is the number one site for Git project hosting and developer collaboration. It hosts almost all major open source projects from the software industry. GitHub provides Git hosting, issue tracker, project tracker, build system, and many other tools for developers and team collaboration. Millions of developers use GitHub every day to sync and commit source code and documentation, track, review and control changes in the code, branch and merge code, manage, discuss and track issues, manage project plans, uh, task and schedule, build, test and deploy projects. Developers today should be familiar with Git and GitHub. At SoftUni, we teach the concepts of source control systems and how to use Git and GitHub 
early in our end-to-end -end educational program for software developers to enable students to create a portfolio of practical projects which helps them to start their first developer job. Let's illustrate how we can use Git and GitHub through a few examples. We shall clone a GitHub repository, edit the local file, commit the local changes and push them to GitHub. We'll work with this sample uh, Git repository, http github.com slash softuni slash playground. First, let's look at it. Uh, it holds several files. Uh, code plus documentation. As a concept, source control repository hold the source code and other assets of a software project. We first clone the sample repository to a local directory using the git clone command. git clone the repository we must have pre-installed the git client software on the local machine we start the system control console which is also called uh, terminal window or command prompt then we type the following code on the command line git clone uh, HTTPS, github.com, softuni, playground. This will create a local copy of the specified repository in the playground subdirectory of the current directory. Now, we can modify uh, a local file, for example, the readme.md. Uh, we can use a text editor uh, of choice, such as notepad. We can open the file with notepad by the following code, notepad, readme.md. Now, add a new line. Uh, in the file and save it. Now we have a modified file on the local disk. We want to commit the pending changes uh, so that they enter the local repository and are tracked in the version control system. We will run the following command at the console. Git add dot and git commit hyphen m edit something. This command adds any new files to the repository uh, and commits uh, all pending changes. When we commit the changes, we need to leave a message and explanations of the changes we make. Now we have a local repository which holds changes. We can change files and commit our work many times. These changes are still not sent to GitHub. To send the local commits to the remote repository at GitHub, 
we can we can execute the following command git push this command needs the current git user to have permissions to write in the remote repository and it may ask for username and passwords or rather method of authentication uh, now we can open the repository from the github website and see the changes we can see the content of the changed files we can also review the commits here the change log and what was changed in each commit please focus on the concepts rather than on the comments on their parameters uh, the concepts here are that source control systems keeps the source code in a remote repositories and we can clone these repositories edit files commit the changes and push the commits to the original repository this workflow allows different team members to work together on a shared source code to illustrate better the teamwork with git i will execute an interesting live demonstration uh, i will simulate the work of two developers alice and bob alice will use my windows command prompt and bob will use my linux bash shell the blue console window Okay. Alice clones the playground repository from her Windows machine. Git clone HTTPS github.com slash soft unit slash playground. And enters in the cloned directory. CD playground and displays the files inside it here the same does Bob from his Linux machine Okay, git clone https github.com slash soft uni uh, slash uh, playground and cd playground ls hyphen ll. Now Alice and Bob make changes in their local working copies of the repository. Alice edits the file hello.txt notepad hello.txt she types hello from Alice uh, Bob edits the files readme.md and hello.txt
mc edit readme dot readme dot md and he types this file was edited by Bob. MC edit hello.txt and he types at the end hello from Bob. Now Alice commits her changes in her local repository. Git add dot git commit hyphen m changes from Alice. Now Bob commits his changes in his local repository too. git add dot git commit slash aim changes from Bob. Now Alice sends her changes to GitHub. Git push. The changes are successfully stored at GitHub. Now Bob tries to send his changes to GitHub. Git push. Wow. Uh, this operation will be rejected due to conflicting changes. Bob should merge the changes from Alice. Git pull. The automatic merge files for the file hello.txt and we shall uh, it says merge conflict in hello.txt and we shall fix the conflict manually. MC edit hello.txt and we edit the file by hand.
now we commit the changes made to merge the conflicting files. Git add everything. Git commit with message Bob merges his changes. And finally, Bob will be able to push his changes successfully. Git push. We can see the changes at the GitHub website. We can also see the commits in the commit walk. We can see the last three commits changes from Alice, changes from both, Bob, and Bob merges his changes. Uh, looks complex. It is not so complex like it looks. Um, focus on the concepts here. Kit allows developers to work concurrently on the same project and to merge concurrent changes. How exactly we handle concurrent changes with Git, we shall learn in the upcoming courses and lessons at SoftUnion. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. So join now softuni.org. Also check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. Type in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Goodbye, see you in my next video.